Hello, and thank you for tuning into our second master's recital. My name is Hannah, and this is Mick, and we're delighted to be here in the studio, uh, accompanied by some lovely friends, uh, for our second master's recital. Um, those were two tunes by Brian Finnegan. The first one was Three Little Steps, and the second one was Goldies. Um, the next tune we're going to do is called The Blacksmith. Yeah, um, hello, everybody. Hope you're all safe wherever you are watching this. Um, Great to be back doing our, our second recital. I think I made a comment in my first recital that I can't wait to do my second recital in front of a crowd. <laughs> but, uh, but here we are. We've got a crowd, kind of. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's great to be here. And um, it's great that we still were able to put together the gig that we um, had in mind at the start of it when we started to talk about doing a joint recital. We're going to be joined by some amazing musicians here. Um, as Hannah said, we're going to continue with a song called The Blacksmith which is a traditional old folk song that can be traced back to its first recording in 1909, so you can only imagine how long it was around before then. Um, and it is, as most of the great songs are, a tale of unrequited love. Um, it's also kind of a tale of gossip and news between towns, which is also an ever-present by the looks of it. Um, we're going to be joined by... Um, sorry, two seconds. We're going to be joined on this by the wonderful Claire Fennell on pipes. I always talk while I'm tuning and then I start the song and I'm not in tune. <laughs> this is one called The Blacksmith. I hope you enjoy it. said you marry me and not deny me if i said i marry you it was only for to try you so bring your witness love and i'll not deny you
Thank you very much. That was one called The Blacksmith. This one that uh, there are many versions and adaptations of. Um, probably the most famous being the Planks D one, which would be a, a big influence on probably everyone on stage, I would say. Um, we're going to continue with another song from, <laughs> funnily enough, another song that can be traced back to the first decade of the 1900s. It's not a theme for the gig, it just happened. Um, this is a song that, again, there are many adaptations of. Um, it's called Down in the Willow Garden. Um, it's quite a dark song, actually, um, considering it was used as a lullaby for a long time. And uh, it's a song about a father who denies um, an inheritance to a son based on who he falls in love with. And uh, let's just say it doesn't end well. I'm going to be joined by Claire again on the pipes for this one. And I tuned up in the wrong key. So that's, <laughs> see, this is what I said. T'was down in the willow garden Me and my true love did me T'was there as we sat a court Where my love fell off to sleep I gave that dear little girl down on the banks below.
set of tunes now um, influenced by some time that I was lucky enough to spend down in Ballyborna over the last uh, couple of months or so I was lucky enough to get to go down as part of the Music Network's uh, Resonate um, Artist Residencies as a collaborator with the fabulous Emma Langford and Alec Brown and when we were down there we were kind of really inspired by um, the location of where we were working and the, um, the nature that was down there and all the tales and the legends and the kind of the affinity with St. Gubnet and with the Sulon River and um, Emma wrote a beautiful song called Crona Namach, which means the home of the bees. Um, St. Gubnet is the patron saint of bees and she wrote a song inspired by that and I wrote the first jig based off of that song. And the second tune is the Kule jig, which is a jig of uh, the locality down in Ballyborna and Kule. And we're going to follow that with the John James reel. Hope you enjoy. Well, it's going to be joined by a couple of, maybe for the first time, yeah, are they seeing them for the first time now, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Pax and Keen and Michael.
much. We're going to continue now with a couple of slip jigs. I'm going to get some water first, though. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we were delighted to be able to um, get together the kind of gig that we wanted to with um, many obstacles, <laughs> up and to and including today. Um, but uh, we were delighted to be able to get it together and uh, be joined by some great musicians. And, uh, it's kind of been a distraction, hasn't it, as well? Oh, putting everything together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A much welcome distraction. Um, we're going to continue with a couple of slip jigs now. Um, the first is called Soggies, and the second one is called Water Boogie, which I successfully didn't introduce in a Scottish accent. I'll do it. As we have been. Do, it. You have to do, it. do you really want me to say it? I do. Yeah. It's going to be on video now. Yeah. Good. Water Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only reason I want to do this. <laughs> yeah. Hannah's going to take this one away.
much. There was a couple of slip jigs there, soggies and uh, water boogie um, that we got from a great band by the name of Bioga. And we're going to continue now with a song, I do believe. Are we? We are, yeah. We are. <laughs> we are. Well, yeah, okay, good, good. The great Irish artist, James Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, we didn't give the lads uh, a full introduction. This is Pax O'Fuelan, Michael Reardon, Woo. and Keno Sullivan. <coughs> As Hannah mentioned, we're going to continue with a song by uh, an up and coming young singer songwriter by the name of James Taylor, which you may have heard of. <laughs> this is a, a beautiful song by the name of Copper Line. Um, it's a very special one for me as I got a, uh, a Christmas present um, years ago of a, uh, an immaculate, uh, a collection of immaculate records, um, all second hand but all well kept. And um, I got that from my parents on Christmas morning, and that was the first one that we took out, New Moonshine. And uh, this is the first track off that album. So we're going to dedicate this to the families. This is Copperline, this is from Holly. Side by each cup of course, cup of Georgia peach down on couple line. Half a mile down a Morgan Creek, eating heavy for the end of the week. Pucking lays and the hog no sneak down on couple line. Take me down on couple line. Couple line, step away past supper time. Wood smoke, moonshine, down on couple line. One time I saw my daddy dance, saw him moving like a man in a trance. He brought it back from the war in France, down on couple line. Down on top of line. First kiss never I took, like a page from a romance book. The sky open and the earth shook. Down on top of line. Down on top of line. Breaks and the boy wakes up in the dark box and the bird sings and the surprises in the angel's sigh, yeah. Try to go back as if I could. I'll speck out some plywood. Tore up, tore up good down on couple line. It doesn't come as a surprise to me. Doesn't touch my memory Man, I'm lifting up And I'm rising free Down on top of line Half a mile down to Morgan Creek I'm only living for the end of the week Hercules in the hall No sneak down on top of line 
Take me down on the the great James Taylor. Um, we're coming to our last set of tunes now, which is actually ridiculous. It was always <laughs> going to happen, wasn't it? It just what? flies. It takes so long to get up to. That's crazy. It always happens. It always happens. Um, I have a few people to thank. Um, the fact that we're able to put on a gig in a time like this is actually also ridiculous. Um, so, uh, first of all, a massive thank you to everybody in CSM for making these gigs happen. To be able to get up and play tunes like this with people like this is totally a privilege in times like these. So massive thank you to, to Barry here and to Kira and to everybody who's put together these productions. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so thanks so much. Um, a massive thank you also to all of our lecturers who have been tireless really in their uh, dedication. So massive thank you to my own teacher, David Hayes, to Johnny McCarthy and to Hugh Dillon. Um, have been really helpful all semester for the last what, 18 months? So that's three semesters, really. But <laughs> um, a massive thank you to them. Um, and of course, a massive thank you to the lads for, for playing with us. Um, yeah, it would not have been the same gig without you, that's for sure. <laughs> so again, we have Claire Fennell on flute and pipes. Um, we have Pax O'Fallon on fiddle. <laughs> Michael Rudin on bass. And Keanu Sullivan on drums. And a massive thank you also to Mick Grace for doing this gig with me. And thank you, Hannah. Um, <laughs> it's been so nice to do a joint gig, especially when they're stressful. <laughs> and you have somebody else to <laughs> share the stress with. Yeah, yeah we shared the stress. We shared the stress. Yeah. We, we definitely shared the stress equally. Um, but yeah, a massive thank you to all the lads and to you, Mick. Oh, legend. <laughs> Oh, we've another set, don't we? We get keen to tell a ghost story or something. <laughs> uh, we're going to finish on this set of reels. We are, yeah. <laughs> going to finish with a set of reels, as I said. The first one being Julia Delaney, um, that we got from the great Botty Band. Second one is Sheepskins and Beeswax. <laughs> and the third one is <laughs> Real de la Main Blanche. Since I live in a half French house, it's to be done. Two tunes that we got from uh, Labatine Storyant. Here we go. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. And uh, we, <laughs> I may as well say it. I can't wait to do the next recital in front of a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> this is tempting fate.